ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर श्री जयपाल रेड्डी मिनिस्टर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आर्ट साइंस श्री टी रामस्वामी सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डियर स्टूडेंट्स डिस्टिंग्विस्ट गेस्ट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल my greetings to all of you the young and budding scientists and inspire awardees who have come here from various parts of the country dear young students i see the future of india in you it is for sure that the shape of india to come would be determined by youth of the nation science and technology and innovation will form the new <coughs> garment of new grammar of development my dear children what has differentiated the post industrial world from the previous centuries is science and technology the way we live on earth has been significantly transformed by science and technology in the 21st century those nations which use science and technology are likely to emerge as the global power knowledge is also likely to emerge as the next driver of change in the world many of you will be driver of change which will happen in india and the world india with a strong scientific and technological manpower has an opportunity to become a major knowledge power in the years to come to make this dream reality we have to invest in research and development best investment that a nation can make is in her youth power to capitalize the advantage of large demographic dividend and huge scientific talent pool we have announced the science technology and innovation policy 2013 the inspire scheme will act as a catalyst in implementation of the newly announced policy inspire aims to help the youth of this country to become scientists and researchers India has started investment significantly into the research and development as well as education sectors several new academic and research institutions have been established during the last 10 years there will be new opportunities for talented youth to become the researchers our industrial and agricultural sectors also have started to invest more in research and development world over indian talent pool is respected several multinational corporations have established their global research and development centers in india in a way research and development capability of india is just opening up for the planned investments these developments open up new opportunities and challenges to those whose dream can reach the sky because there is no limit to it i'm glad that the ministry of science and technology in collaboration with schools spread all over the country is engaged in this task which will be further streamlined with e management of inspired 
award schemes. This is only one way of engaging the creative minds of the society. We have to find many more ways to ensure that no creative idea in this country is left without being nurtured. This will ensure that we as a country are self-reliant and our scientists and technological requirement and in each, this process we emerge as exporter of knowledge-based products. In the recently concluded conference of the Vice Chancellors of Central Universities at Rashtrapati Bhavan, I have asked for setting up national innovation clubs and linking it to the grassroots innovators to the central universities. This is for converting grassroots innovations into value-added technologies. During my visits to these central universities, I will have the opportunity of meeting the regional innovators to see that the linkage between the innovators and the central universities are well established for the benefit of our society and the nation as a whole. Once again, young children, I would like to congratulate all the inspired awardees for their talent, hard work and devotion towards science. I am sure with your dedication and hard work you can achieve what you aspire to have. I would also like to compliment the Minister of Science and Technology and all associated schools in helping the young scientists to realize their potential. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind. Thank you for those motivating and encouraging words.